What's up YouTube? My name is Philip Peach. Recently I bought the DJ Denon Prime 2 and today I would like to show the review if you haven't seen one yet to go through completely details what it offers and what you can do with it. Let's go! This is Denon Prime 2 and that's gonna be a short review. So first off, the Denon Prime 2 allows you to have inner SSD disk so we don't need to actually have USB. You can easily connect this to the computer and computer will recognize this as a disc and you can simply put music on it or whatever and disconnect from computer and have it on stand alone set. Okay, so let's go, let's show you what it actually can do. So first off, let's go through the display because that's actually what is separating the Denon Prime 2 from the Pioneer or other. So that's simple, it's gonna show you. The first open is the streaming or the device that we're gonna connect. Now let's go shortly, I'm gonna show you. If you hold this, you can go to utility and you have Wi-Fi settings and you can connect this to the Wi-Fi. So let's connect it to the network. That's Wi-Fi, show connected and we can continue. So let me show you how to use it then. If you have Bitport, you have to buy Bitport link, which usually cost about $15 per month, SoundCloud Go or Tidal. So I'm going to show you the Bitport link, how it works. You press it, when you first time do it, you have to insert your username and password and you have to be subscribed to Bitport link. For example, now I can access through the Wi-Fi my already downloaded Bitport music. You have like artwork and everything. If you hold it, it will show you the BFP, the key, legend, you can rate it and so on. But because I don't have Bitport link subscription, it won't load. It would say that it's invalid license. Let's go now to the inter SSD inside of this Denon Prime. Okay, so the first three are basically only libraries. You can prepare and so on, but let's go to the folder. The folder you can actually see what's inside of the SSD. So simple, let's go to the My Music. Right now the YouTube can copyright this video, so I'm gonna use only My Music. You can use this with touch or completely by this console. This go back, this go forward. This is basically scrolling. And basically if you press in the center, you select it and it asks me to load it to the left deck or the right, let's go back and let's use these two buttons. So to this is gonna load to the right side and this is gonna go to the left side. Let's put it to the right side. So simple as that, it's basically loaded and let's put one more another to the left side. Okay, so it's simple as that. You have like the top one is the left side of the desk and the bottom one is the right side. Okay, so let's use the USB and even it support an SD card, but for now I'm gonna use the USB to show you how it works. After you plug it in, you can press this button and it's gonna show the devices. You can have up to three USBs and of course the inside SSD, because backside you have two USB, you have one USB here, you have SD card and inside. If you go to the USB, everything could be the same, but now it's taking music from the music, so you can easily switch. Now, if you'd like to eject, you press this button here, it asks you which device to eject, you press it, and simple as that, it simply eject. Okay, so let's go bit with the device. You have even one here button that's called the view. If you hold it, it'll give you to utility, so I'm not gonna be specific, you can stop the video, you can save the Wi-Fi settings, the stream, um, the track preview, you have like different IQs and so on, Q solar mode, you have integration, device info, you can update via computer, but that will gonna be later, you have format update, if you have it, you press the reboot and it's gonna update, otherwise let's hold it again, you have the preferences, those are like the track position is the Q start or track start, you have sync mode and so on, you have loops to say a bit of the pattern display and so on, and the deck color. You can simply use this color wheel to select color. The next one is the sources. If you press it, 
it will show you all the sources. If you want to connect it to the computer, you have to press this button right here. It's going to ask me, of course, and it restart and enter computer mode, which means you can transfer, transfer files directly to SSD inside. Otherwise, that's for Wi-Fi, you can connect, disconnect. And the last one is record. You press the record, it says the stop and end. I'm going to show you right now for the start. I'm going to put the USB inside so we can record it. Record. And when you're done, you simply press, you can easily go back and mix music and then anytime go back to record, stop recording and here we are. Now you can clear or say file as, you press this and now it's gonna say view the record, it's gonna ask you the save file, I'm gonna put cancel because I don't want it and in this case you can simply put an, the media file to the, your USB. This music I bought on Beatport so I'm not gonna play it but I'm gonna show you if you like to preview music on your headphones right here Basically, you just select it, this button, and then you can go scroll through the music on the headphones. You're not going to hear this on the mastering, only the headphones you can select. Otherwise, this Danon Prime allows you to have big jack and small 3.5mm jack from the headphones, so you don't have different uh, converters in between. Otherwise, if you hold Shift, and press the view, it's gonna change the view. Otherwise, the most important thing here, if you hold shift and view, it's gonna change how this looks. This is now the left desk, this is the right desk, and right now you have in between, you can scroll through the music. So basically, it's exactly as before, but you have um, less view, but I prefer to have it like that, because you can see in the time, both at the same place when you can go forward and backward. Otherwise, you have the search to go to the media. You can have playlists, you can put inside this um, engine OS, you can put the music inside the playlist and so on. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's start with the left desk and you're gonna go for the right. So this is the DJ, it has all built in, it has smart DJ console and so on. What does that mean? It's basically most pioneers can sort separately but this one have all combined okay so that is my music i'm not gonna use any other music because of the copyright like already said so this is the top and this is the bottom first one you can do on the touch screen you can scroll through music when it's paused if it's running you can so let's press play okay so that's it i'm gonna put a bit of room less now, if you press pause, I'm just gonna go from the top to bottom. On the left side, you have in and out. So press in once and out once, and it's gonna loop. If you scroll to the left, it's gonna go, you basically looping the whole and it goes split by half. And when you press inside, it's disabled the loop. Simple as that. Now, the right side, we have stop time. Right now, it's fast. Let's put it to the slow mode. Simple as that, basically. Otherwise, when you put it on the top, it's gonna be... Okay, then you have one. That's basically when you're DJing. You can use this to go left and forth. If you disable this, it's not gonna scroll through. It's left is gonna stop, slow down and right is gonna speed up. If you have this enabled, you're basically scratching through time when you're recording. Easy. So we have the sync for the bottom desk, so you can automatically sync and key sync. Otherwise, let's we have a console that's gonna just reverse specific amount of time. So as far as you can see, when I'm pressing console, you can see this one goes to left and this one goes to the right. And when you release it, what that means, basically, the bottom one shows you when you remove finger, where are you gonna continue playing, and the top one is basically going reverse. So what that means, if you have like something cursed word or some words that are not appropriate, this is gonna basically just reverse the previous time and then jam forward in time to the exact position as if you would not play it. So basically skip the word. Otherwise you have like your beat bench. On the top corner it's gonna show you the speed or BPM. 
if you put the middle, the light is gonna on and that means that you can actually hold it. Otherwise you have track skip, you can go forward and backward and you can jump through the beats. That's gonna be four beats. Then you have a queue, obviously a whole order, so you press it, you go back, normal stuff. Otherwise you have hot cues. Let's put it to the somewhere here. When you press, it's gonna put the color and the timer. So when you press it again, it's gonna jump to the position that you pressed the first time. If you like to undo, you just hold shift and press it again. The color is gonna be removed, which means that you disabled. When you have a loop, loop is simple. You press start point, end point, and it's gonna repeat. Press it again, it's gonna remove it. Press it again, it's gonna go back. So basically it's like a hot cue, but loop it's gonna have even the end point and it's gonna keep putting you back to the original position. Simple as that. If you hold shift, you can simply remove it. The rule is same as loop, but it have preset at how long it's gonna be. So I'm gonna show you. You see, this one is two bars, one bar, half bar, even as far as you can see it's gonna continue from playing when you release it easy as that so the slicer it's gonna be a bit different the slicer it tells you with colors here as far as you can see where it's gonna repeat and you hold this one it's gonna repeat exactly at the time that this one lighted up so all of them it's basically just jumping through the time so simple as that that's the last one is the shift Shift is basically like disabling or extra function if it have one. For example, for hot Q, you're just gonna remove it again. Okay, so this completely apply same to the right side. Let's go to the middle. So I'm gonna put one music here, one music here. Okay, so first off, in the middle, it's easy as it is. It's called the fader. It's basically, I'm gonna enable it and put this music to here. So basically the fader switches from the left to the right. But the professional DJs, sometimes they don't use it and they set this parameter to the in-between which is disabling. Why? Because right now it's not gonna work. It's that. Because the professional DJs, they switch music with this. So that's basically music volume of the left deck. Basically you can see, this is the right, this is the left. Maybe you already know this or not, I'm just saying from the beginners. So it's gonna mute and put volume. Then obviously you have a cue, when you have a headphones inserted, you can hear this even if there is no volume. You would hear that on the headphones right now where they are. Why is this? I'm gonna show you later. We have filter. On the left side is low and to the right side is high. That's the left side. And that's for the right side. Usually you use this to mix between or maybe you have a crowd and you'd like say, hey, oh, and you know, you just mute it so you can listen to them. Otherwise, they show you low, mid and high. That's basically the bass, mid and that's high frequencies. If you want a more bass, you use this one. If you, someone usually say this is for the bass, this is for the vocals, and this is for the melody. Yeah, and go the same way. If you move it to the left, it's gonna remove and put to the right, it's gonna increase. Both boards, let's put high. Basically, that's like a EQ, easy. And the top side, you have the level, which is like addition to the depth. If this goes to the top and music is still not loud enough, you can use this. So I usually use this on the same as this one. That's work exactly the same, but this one will apply to the right side. So basically this is when the music is too quiet, you just put a bit more so basically people can hear. Okay, so now we went through the left, right and the mid bar. Let's go to the this bar up here, which is basically the one of the best things ever. 
This is the microphone behind you can put inside to the two microphones. One is from Jack and one is for XLR. And basically you have put each one into individual. So basically two microphones. And we have microphone right here. So I'm gonna show you, easy press on. Hello, hello. Easy as that, works simple. Now, we have even the second microphone. This is the lever, which means that you can set up the loudness of microphone. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. And this is the same, low, mid and high. All of these three are exactly the same here, but they will apply to the both microphones. You can see these white lines that are connected. Now, this one has some cool feature. It's called Talk Over. That will mute the music when you say something on microphone. Let's try. So I'm gonna put microphone talk over on, play music. Okay, okay, okay. When I speak, the music went quiet. So maybe it's useful, maybe not. Maybe you'd like to do it um, professionally. Okay, 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 okay. It's completely up to you, but this one speed up the process. Okay, let's go forward. So now went for this, this, this to the left side. The right side is basically the output. This is the master that you're listening right now. I have it connected to the computer input, so that's basically like a microphone and our desk. Then you have boot, it's same as master, but you can split, for example, specific parts if you'd like to not have microphone output to the boot. And the aux, it's inside its input so you can put like a laptop iphone or whatever to play music from iphone and you have this button q already means the headphones which means you can listen to the input even if you don't have it turned on okay otherwise we have this for usb that's the sd card input and you have the effects one and effects two now this both have to do something with the table because you can't see actually effects, you have to look down below to see what's happening. So the first one, you choose the effect. As far as you can see, you have a lot. Basically, the entire operating system is inside, so technically you can have infinity amount of effects, because you don't have limit, you can just scroll forever. There is no stop. Pioneers usually have like four or five of them, but yeah, inside the program, it's unlimited possibilities. So let's put a auto gator when you press it. This one is the time, right? Here it's going to show you how the time. Let's put it to half beat. And the last one is on or off, basically slider how much. So let's try. And you have to press this button on. It's going to enable and this becomes colorful. Simple as that, enabling the disable effect. When you're ready, you can disable it or you can end disable in the middle of the music. Yeah, but I would recommend you to put it to the left. Okay, so basically to put all of that, each one have display. When you're playing some music, let's... This is four beats. So basically, this one or you can go to, you can see on the display how it goes. It's simple as that. Otherwise, basically that's what this DJ mix or table offers you. You have a lot of features and so on. So yeah, basically. So hopefully you learned something that was like the entire guide to how to do specific things. By the way guys, if you'd like any questions, comment down below. My name is Philippe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.